Welcome to building serverless applications using the AWS Toolkit for JetBrains in PyCharm. What I'm going to take you through is how we create a new serverless application, run that locally, and then deploy it up to AWS. So I'm going to go to the Create New Project Wizard, and because I have the AWS Toolkit installed, I have this option to create a SAM application. I'm going to select the Hello World template and hit Create. And what PyCharm is going to do at this point is call to the SAM CLI and actually create a new serverless application from the Hello World template. So what that's going to create is a number of files that define my serverless application. So first and foremost is the template.yaml. This is the file that kind of ties everything together. At the moment, it's only got a single resource in here, which is a serverless function. So here I'm going to let the IDE install the dependencies that this application requires. So now that that's all installed and everything looks good, what I'm going to actually do is run this locally. So we have two options for how we might accomplish that. The first is from the source file itself. So we have this Lambda icon here on the left hand side. And from here, I have some options for running this locally. I can also run it from the template itself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the hello world function from the template, and that's going to pop me up a run configuration dialog. So this is a typical run configuration, and we can configure some options for how we run this function locally, including the credentials that I'm going to use and the region that I want my function to run under. Now, this is running locally, so what this does is it actually substitutes the appropriate environment variables in there so that if I'm using things like the AWS SDK in my code, we can automatically configure it to point to the right region and use the right credentials. In terms of the input here, I have a number of options for how I might generate an input to invoke my function with. First off, I could select a file. Now, this might be a file that's part of your project structure, or it could be anywhere on your file system. Your next option is to use this text editor here. So this is actually a rich JSON text editor that understands JSON syntax. And then the final option is to, similar to the AWS console, select one of the pre-existing event templates here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select the Hello World template, and I'm going to hit Run here. And what this is going to do is actually package up my application into a zip file, including all of the dependencies. Then it's going to, using the SAM CLI, spin up a Docker container that is a Lambda-like environment. So the whole idea with this local run process is you get something that's extremely high fidelity. It's, it's very like the remote Lambda environment that your code is going to run in. So that's come back to me successfully, and I've gotten the response printed out to the console here. The next thing I want to do is actually debug this. So let's say I had a bug, or I wanted to understand what was going on in more detail inside my application. I can set a breakpoint here. And using the same run configuration, I'm just going to hit the debug icon. Similar to the local run, that's going to package up a zip file, hand it over to Sam. Sam is going to spin up a Docker container, and this time it's going to open up a debug port that the IDE is going to connect to. And at this point, we have a local debugging environment that I can step through. So we're going to let that play out. Um, and again, I get the response printed to the console. So here I've kind of run an application locally, I've debugged it, I'm happy with it, and now what I want to do is actually deploy it to the cloud. So the first thing I'm going to do is configure the toolkit with the account and region that I want to deploy to. So I'm going to come down here to this region selector, I'm going to select my reInvent profile, and I'm going to pick US West 2 as a region. So now the toolkit is configured to use that profile and that region when it does any remote operations. Now I'm going to come across to the template file. I'm going to right click on it, and I have this option to deploy a serverless application. So I'm going to select that. And again, that's going to pop up a dialog here. Now, if I had any stacks in my account, I would be able to select one of those if I wanted to update it. But I'm going to create a new Hello World stack here. If I had any parameters in my serverless application template, this dialog here is where I'd populate them. But in this case, the Hello World application doesn't have any, so I don't need to do that. But what I do need to do is select an S3 bucket that I want to use to actually upload the source to. So I'm going to select an existing one that I have available, and I'm going to hit the Deploy button. So this is going to hand over to the SAM CLI at this point. It's going to run a SAM build, a SAM package, and then it's going to create me a CloudFormation change set, which holds all of the things that I need to be able to get my application created. Now, at this point, it's waiting for me to confirm that I do want to actually go ahead and execute that change set, deploy that application. So I'm going to hit the Execute button. 
So the IDE in the background is monitoring the state of that, and I'm going to get a notification when the stack has been successfully deployed. But in the meantime, let's jump across to the AWS Explorer, which is where we can kind of get a similar view of my remote resources with the connected profile and region that I have selected. So here I'm going to expand out applications and I see that Hello World stack being created and I get the progress for it. So again, I can kind of refresh here and you can see I've now got the notification on the bottom right hand side that the stack has been successfully deployed. So here I now expand out the applications again and I see that the status is create complete. So the stack's been created. The final thing I want to do just to make sure everything's working is to actually remotely invoke this. So I'm going to right click on the function in my Hello World application. I'm going to select run. And again, I'm going to get a similar run configuration dialog pop up. I'm going to once again select the Hello World template to pass in and I'm going to run that. So this is going to actually do the remote invocation and print me back the response. So there you have it, the ability to create a new serverless application, do a local debug and run on your local machine using the SAM CLI, and then deploy the application to AWS.